This is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia. This is our early evening update, guys. Wakey, wakey, everybody in America. Wakey, wakey, everybody in Canada land. Everybody in Europe. Hello, hello, how are you guys doing? And all my friends and brothers and sisters in Asia. Wow, you guys are winding down another day. We're still stuck here in uh, lockdown in, in Vietnam. Good morning from Vietnam, guys. It's a great time to be alive. We're seeing that right now. Uh, cryptos are still, you know, we're seeing a little bit of flatness today here on the weekend and here in Asia. Hopefully that when you guys in America uh, wake up and hopefully my friends in uh, Europe can take it up higher and higher. In this video, we got lots to talk about. You know, this is a reminder. This is an absolute reminder that the bull is here. The bull is coming, and it's just around the corner. And guys, don't panic. And remember, none of this is financial advice. We're going to talk about, you know, where I see Dogecoin. What are some of the resistance? What are some of the support levels? We also got to talk about Doge 2.0. We're going to talk about the European Union. There's been a recent survey, and a lot of people in Europe are saying they don't want crypto regulation. They're pushing back. They're pushing back, guys. So, with that being said, watch out for Nazi scammers. And remember, as always. You have to protect your crypto. Turn on two-factor authentication. Don't be an armchair investor. Do your own research. Do your own risk management. This video is for education and entertainment purposes only. So enjoy. Watch to the end. We got some doozies, some really good information for you guys. So just remember, right now, you can see that the bear, the bear is on life support because the bulls are taking over the market. The bulls are absolutely in control right now. And we're going to take the markets up higher. We're seeing Bitcoin over 50,000 now. Thank goodness. We just need to get up to 50. We're seeing Ethereum fighting its way up to 4,000. We're still seeing Dogecoin fighting its way to maintain uh, 30 cents. But that's good news. That is absolutely good news, guys. And then we're also going to talk about Doge 2.0. We're going to talk about that Doge 2.0. And uh, before we do that, I just want to thank a whole bunch of uh, new uh, people in the house. You know, we had a super live, uh, we had a live chat, live stream in our earlier video. And these people were gracious enough to support the channel with super chats. So I just want to say a big thank you to Alonzo, to Carrie to Dustin, to the Doge Master in the house, and David Rising, one of our big supporters. Dustin, a big supporter. Thank you, Carrie Atkins, for all of your support. Thank you, all you guys, for supporting the channel. Thank you for the love. And don't forget, to, if you love the OG, if you love these videos, smash the likes right now, and subscribe if you subscribe. Else I'm going to jump out of YouTube land and get you to subscribe. So, subscribe right now. All right, guys, I'm on fire. It's a great time to be alive. I'm feeling much better. Yesterday, I wasn't feeling good, guys. Had some kind of stomach bug. I don't know what it was, but it's out of my system now. I'm back. I'm on fire. I'm all fired up because I see that Monday next week, the cryptos are absolutely going to explode. I can feel it in my bones. So hopefully you guys are excited about that like I am. So a recent sur survey that just came out is uh, European citizens reject, reject imposed crypto regulations. So we're seeing right now, most European citizens reject the idea of crypto regulation regime imposed by the European Union and its member states. According to a recent survey, most survey citizens lean towards independent cryptocurrency regulation in each country compared to a 25% that approve EU imposed. So they want to be able to control their own crypto, uh, you know, based on a country to country policy. They don't want to be stuck with, you know, one, uh, one regulation fits all because absolutely in the European Union, there's different folks with different strokes, different needs, and different market conditions, guys. So, with that being said, guys, if you're in the European Union, I love this survey. Fight for your rights, guys. Absolutely 100% accurate, guys. So, some other stuff that we're seeing right now. We're some, seeing some really interesting stuff for Bitcoin right now. And we're seeing that if you look at the supply shock right now, we can see that, you know, the supply of Bitcoin is going down, down, down. So we're seeing that the illiquid, you know, and right here we're seeing this is the illiquid supply shock, supply ratio. So this is, you know, going, it's going up, guys. So the illiquid means that it's a supply shock ratio. It's going up. So the, the supply of Bitcoin is getting lower and lower and lower. And last time we saw that was when we had the run up in May. And we're seeing very similar volumes right now. So this is really cool. And it just goes to show that we're at the tipping point. We're absolutely at the tipping point. We're absolutely at the tipping point for another huge upside, guys. A $60,000 Bitcoin Bitcoin. It's just around the corner, guys. You know it, and I know. I'm shaking with excitement. I'm shaking with excitement because we know 
that a huge uplift is happening and uh, we got even more evidence that show, shows that we, we're seeing a lot more stable coins. So this is a stable coin supply that's now flowing onto exchanges and when that happens that means that people are going to start flooding their money into the old coins and that's why we're going to see so suddenly that the old coins are going to be foaming, they're going to be frothy, they're going to be exploding, they're going to be popping up, pop, 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 pop and the old coins are going to go to the moon guys. I absolutely believe it. Look what Solana's doing. Solana's up like 300% in such a short period of time and it's not over. Some people are even suggesting that Solana could take over the number four spot and kick out BNB. Let's see if that happens. I hope it happens because I'm holding my Solana since it was $18. And I know that about five days ago now I told my members, I told my, my peeps and my tweets and everybody in YouTube land, this is not financial advice, that in my opinion, in my humble opinion, that Solana was a good buy at $65. So if you'd have picked up Solana at $65, you would have more than doubled your money, guys. Wow, OMG. You know, it's on fire. It's crazy. Wow. 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 Pain in the membrane, guys. So sometimes you got to listen to what the OG has to say. Sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm, 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 I'm right, guys. So all the haters out there that, that diss the OG from time to time, all I got to say to you is, yeah, yeah. That, okay. So don't be hating on the OG. So let's take a look at some Doge right now. Let's take a, let's take a look at Doge. So, you know, I'm expecting that we can see, uh, you know, uh, the Dogecoin price upswing really soon. We're seeing a lot of bullish patterns. We're going to talk, talk about the TA in a minute, guys. But let's just take a look at this article right now. I think this article really nails it. So Dogecoin price has been on a downside since uh, August 16th. Remember, August 16th, we, we, we were at 35, 35.2. And then since then, we've just been downsizing, downsizing. It seems like, you know, it's just been going down. And it's like my insane in the membrane. It's like, come on, Doge, what's going on? What's going on? A lot of people have just been like what 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 even i have been going what 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 so what we're seeing right now is that dogecoin is absolutely ready for a bullish reversal and we're going to go up uppity up up and a successful bounce off the 26 to 28 one zone and and that's where our demand zone is i've been talking to you about that on on a, on the tons of occasions i've been talking about that zone here and this is our demand zone guys and we need to break out of that we're definitely going to be breaking out of that and we can see that right now that dogecoin right now is trading around about 30 cents so you can see that this descending triangle high we're preparing we're preparing to explode beyond beyond 30 cents and this is really amazing news guys that we're about to take off and we're about to explore so you can see that you know the successful bounce off point is 26 to 20 i talked about that we're above that right now so it suggests that we're going to have a bullish upside a bullish bounce anytime soon any second now it can happen if doge breaks below 20 24 cents it will invalidate the bullish thesis this ain't going to happen we are at 30 cents i just showed you that so we really need to see Dogecoin price ready for an explosive. I'm talking explosive. It's going to come just like that and you're not even going to know that it hit you. So Dogecoin price dropped roughly about 25% from the 16th when we hit 35.2. I just told you that. The, you know, the, the decent push Doge into demand zone ranging from 26 to 28. We've been kind of range bound all along in this space. It's been really boring. People are going, what's going, on? what's going on? You know, and this pullback was meant as with a sudden uptick buying pressure currently pushed Doge price up by 12 percent so where i where do i see the doge going forward investors can see the meme coin to continue its upswing we're definitely going to be on the upswing and we need to break out past 32a because that's a huge resistance level we have a huge resistance level and i, and I talked to you right here guys 32 to 33 this is a huge my pink box we need to break out from that so we need to do it do it do it and we, i think we're going to do it we, we're seeing this you know descending triangle here this this, this falling wedge we're definitely going to be breaking out we also see on the one week a couple handle pattern forming out i've showed you that a million times we're definitely going to be getting there you know it. it's coming it's happening right in front of our eyes so we could be breaking out anytime soon guys so with that being said well, we also got to talk about this Dogecoin Foundation right now is really not happy. We're seeing that Dogecoin Foundation, Copycat Beam 2.0, they're ordered and demanding that it uh, changes its name because a lot of retail investors have been caught, have been caught buying Doge point, Dogecoin 2.0 and not realizing that this was not 
the Dogecoin. This was not the original Dogecoin. So a lot of people have been saying like, what happened? What happened? So that's another reason why we're, I think, in my opinion, that we're seeing the prices for Dogecoin become range bound because a lot of retail investors who just new in the space, new to crypto, they have basically bought the Dogecoin 2.0 because they thought it was the pure Doge, guys. So with that being said, I'm hoping that the foundation can get them out of there. So Dogecoin aims to offer investors prolong, I get out of there. So, you know, I, I hopefully that the Dogecoin foundation can really fire off legal demands and they're firing off legal demands that they change the name because it's a pure ripoff. It's a complete 100% pure ripoff of the Dogecoin name. You cannot call yourself Doge point, Dogecoin 2.0, but like calling yourself Coca-Cola 2.0. You don't think Coca-Cola will be jumping up, going, you know, and the lawyers are going to, so hopefully with Elon Musk and everybody, and if they need money behind that, so hopefully Elon will support them financially to get some tough lawyers to get them to change their name because I do believe that Dogecoin is actually a TM, TM. it's a trademark guys. So with that being said, so one of the stuff that's happening right now, and this is also really big for Doge, that we can see right now Doge is set to go sky high. And if we look at the 1.61 Fibonacci area, this is the area that it was at when we hit 70 cents. And we are now at the same spot as the last cycle. The 1.68 retracement, the Fibonacci level, has been accurate with Bitcoin, with Dogecoin, and, and nearly followed from 2010. So you can even see the Doge fractional. So what they're saying is that Dogecoin right now has hit the 1.618 Fibonacci level, the same level that it hit when we hit 70 cents, same level that we've been following since 2010. This is really bullish. And this tells me, this tells me and confirms to me that we're going to have a huge, huge breakout for Doge. Doge is going up. We can see right here, it's happening right in front of your eyes. We are breaking through the upside of this downward trend. We're breaking past the purple rain line. Purple rain line, guys. We're breaking past. Guys, buckle up. Buckle up because Dogecoin is going to be on fire next week. Next week, we should be seeing ourselves blow past this purple, my purple box, and we could see ourselves going to 35 cents next week sometime. And I believe that Bitcoin, Ethereum is also going to explode. Let's jump into the Bitcoin price right now. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited right now. So you can see right now that the Bitcoin, Bitcoin has maintained its, its, level over fifty thousand dollars all day guys now i printed this white line because you know it was going back and forth it's like ping pong ping pong i was getting a headache but now but now we are past fifty thousand and i'm painting this baby i'm painting this baby green because we've done it we've blown past it i don't know i'm not even going to make that a uh, dotted line i'm going to make that solid line right in front of your eyes there we are now past fifty thousand our next incoming target is fifty one thousand if we can continue a fifty one thousand dollar bitcoin for 24 hour period then the sky's the limit guys we could be seeing ourselves absolutely absolutely skyrocketing and we could see ourselves easily easily painting all the way up to the top guys up to 60,000 remember 64,000 is our all-time high we're gonna get there faster and quicker than you think it's gonna be in a wink and a blink and an eye you can go to sleep and wake up the next day we could be at 60k guys because for Bitcoin to move two or three thousand dollars in a day is nothing it's absolutely nothing cool news I'm so excited Bitcoin is going to go to the moon 100k Bitcoin is coming in. Plan B confirms that everybody's talking about. My hair's getting messy. I'm shaking my head so much. Whew. And right now we can take a look at the, the rainbow chart. The rainbow chart is also on fire right now, guys. And, you know, we're still in the hollow phase, but we're getting gingerly close. Let me zoom that up for you, guys. You can see we're getting gingerly close to the FOMO phase. Once we get into that area, then FOMO is going to intensify. And you're going to see Bitcoin on fire you're going to see ethereum on fire and you're going to see the old coins explode like they've never exploded before oh we are on fire let's take a look at uh, the let's take a look at the old coin season old coin month definitely confirm we're in old coin month we're at 82 old coin year not yet but we're almost there guys we're getting there we're on our way we're traveling we're traveling higher and higher and we're going to get there guys so you can see the old coin month and these are all the coins that are now outperforming that are outperforming bitcoin we got solana we got near we got all these coins eh? so if you guys are wondering what you should be picking up just take a look at the chart take a look at the chart it's telling you in plain sight what is outperforming and these will continue to outperform bitcoin because the old coin month is here we are on fire we're gonna do it 
Woo, let's get it, guys. So let's take a look at the uh, fear and greed index right now. Let me give you this minty refresh. Woo, we're still at 72. Yesterday we are yesterday we are at uh, 74. We've gone down a little bit, but the sentiment's going to pick up because when people in America, people in Europe, when you guys see that Bitcoin is confirmed above 50,000 for. 24 hours people are going to get bullish people are going to remember it's going to be a long weekend here in in the u.s it's a labor day weekend so you can expect the volumes a little bit like a little bit like but once labor day finishes by wednesday we should be cooking we should be cooking on all burners full soon I, I can smell the rock up you it smells like the rocket's going to take off, guys, and you're going to see Doge go to the moon. We're absolutely going to get there. I believe it. You believe it. We're going to get there. Jackie Chan, that Jack, 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 we're going to the moon, guys. Woo! And hopefully we see aliens on the way. All right, guys. Let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the Ethereum price right now. I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. <laughs> All right, guys. So right now we're seeing that Ethereum right now is trading at uh, 3,000, 3,937. We need to get past 4,000. This is a $4,000 range. We need to blow past that. I think we're going to do it. We just need a little bit of a push, push, push. But, you know, people have been taking some profits today here in Asia uh, from most of the old coins. With the exception of Solana, I'm going to jump into that. So don't worry. We're still on track. $10,000 theorem, $14,000 theorem is definitely incoming in December. That's when we're going to see the top of this bull run. And I believe that this bull run is going to continue probably all the way to March, guys. And then in April, we should have the blow off top and then things will start to go down. So remember, plan your exit strategy, dollar cost average in. And remember that every year, Bitcoin goes up 200%. It just does that. So you can you can dollar cost average. You know, Bitcoin's at 50000 would I buy now? Sure. I'm dollar cost averaging. This is not financial advice. Every Thursday, I dollar cost average because I know that Bitcoin is going up 200% year on year end. Guys, that's a fact. Jack, take that to the bank. And and we all know that Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin every 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 second, every minute, guys. And that's a fact. Jack, take that to the bank. Woo! All right, guys. So let's take a look at the, the Bernie burn right now. So the burn for Ethereum is 192,000. What a bonfire! Biggest bonfire in the world. The most expensive bonfire in the world. Wow, it's so exciting. So let's take a look at uh, Cardano. Cardano has just been going sideways all day. It's been boring. I don't even want to talk about. It. I'm so bored. Cardano's <laughs> me sleep. So right now we can see that Cardano is trading at two dollars and ninety-four. It's been doing that all day. It's just been going bleh, flatline. So come on, Cardano. Kick it in gear. Let's take it to the next level. And you know, Cardano has this oh huge overhead resistance at three dollars. We need to blow past it. If we cannot get past three dollars soon, we're going to get a huge rejection, and we're going to continue and and we're going to slam into that two dollar and fifty eight cent line. We don't want to see that. But remember, we got smart contracts. Out. Smart contracts are coming December. 13, uh, September 13th or September 12th, depending on your time zone. So hopefully we could see a whole bunch of a whole lift off uh, from that perspective. Let's hope it's not you know buy the rumor, sell the news. I think it's going to be buy the rumor and buy the news because we've been waiting a long time for this smart contract. But if the rollout is delayed, I tell you, if the rollout is delayed for 88, you're going to see the price tankity tank tank, and it could go down to two hundred two dollars and fifty eight cents. That's guaranteed, guys. Woo. All right, so let's take a look at Solana. Solana in the house is still on fire. It's basically going parabolic. And I believe that Solana is going to replace BNB and be the, the fourth biggest coin in the crypto land soon. So is it too late to buy uh, Solana? I mean, I would have preferred you guys to buy it at 18 or 50 or 65. Right now, it's a little bit on the expensive side. This could be a little bit of FOMO coming in. So guys, just watch it. Don't put all your eggs in Solana right now. This is not financial advice. It's my opinion only. Uh, sure, you may want to pick some up, but it's getting a little bit high. And then we, our next resistance level is $200. I think we're going to go to $200 probably in the next seven to 10 days. We could see that. But definitely, Solana is going to be knocking out BNB. It's going to happen. I believe it. Woo! All right, guys. So here we also got some other news here, as I talked about. Trade people also. This trader here is also confirming. He also agrees that Solana will be flipping BNB in a matter of time, and we could see a $500 BNB coming just around the corner. If Solana were to follow BNB's trajectory, it's highlighted that 
the first stage we surge around 240 before correcting around 40 percent and then resume the rally so keep your eyes on the 240 dollar mark once we get to 200 two dollars 240 dollars for salon expect a little bit of correction we can see a 40 40 percent correction and then we could expect expect a huge huge nose dive a huge nose up not a dive to the moon to 500 dollars. so this is kind of the pattern that we're expecting go all the way up go all the way up then hit to 240 take a nose dive by 40 percent and then blast off to the moon and to Mars and beyond. So hopefully Dogecoin can follow Solana and take us higher and higher because we need to go uptown, uptown, uptown with the Dogecoin. I'm feeling that energy. I'm feeling pumped. I'm feeling psyched. Woo, it's a great time to be alive. And so, so Polkadot's also been doing exactly what, uh, it's been doing exactly what uh, ADA has just been going, blah, flat line. Come on, Polkadot. Move on, move it, get it moving. So right now, polka dots at 30, $33.33. That's a crazy number. And uh, right now, we had a high today of 34. We had a low of 32. So it's just going blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, polka dots not on life support. It's just, it's just you know, doing what Doja coins. And it's waiting for... It's waiting for Bitcoin to make a big move and then you're going to see the explosion. But right now, the attention is on Solana. Everybody's looking at Solana. Everybody's loving Solana because it's a rocket ride. It's a rocket ride. Ah, it's a great time to be alive in crypto. Woo! All right, guys. So let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the market cap. Let me give this a minty refresh. Minty refresh. All right, guys. Woo! So the market cap is 2.33 trillion. I expect this by Wednesday should be at 2.5. Our volumes are light, and that's because we got the long, long Labor Day weekend coming, and our Bitcoin dominance is 40, 40.62 percent. I need to see the Bitcoin dominance come down to 35, 38 percent, and then you're going to see the old coins explode. It's going to be frothy. It's going to be foamy. We're going to the moon, guys, and then you see that the old coins, the old coins are going to pop off in waves. They always do that. Let me just give this a minute to refresh. Make sure we got the updated, updated prices for you out there. In YouTube land. So we're going to see right now that you can see that it's going to come in waves. So the first 20 projects, they're going to start popping off, guys. First 20 old coin projects going to pop, pop, pop off. And then it's going to follow by the next 50, the 100, and it's going to go down the line. That's how it happens. Every bull run is the first, you know, 10 to 20 old coins that start to pop, guys. And then they all start fighting for, for, for space. So right now we see that Bitcoin is at fifty thousand four hundred and sixteen dollars. Yeah, over fifty thousand. And my next target is fifty-one thousand. Then we should see a big, huge pump, pump, pump to sixty thousand. It's coming, and we're up 32 percent in thirty days. That's amazing, guys. That's fantastic. And right now we're up almost one percent in twenty-four hours. Uh, Ethereum right now is trading at three thousand nine hundred forty-one dollars. We need Ethereum past four thousand. It's a psychological level because if we can get past four thousand, then forty-two hundred, forty-four hundred. 4,500 is easy, easy obtainable. So let's get going. But, you know, in the past 30 days, Ethereum is up 50%, guys. 50%, can you believe it? Uh, ADA in the house is down 1.17%. Like I said, it's just going blah. But we're still up 116%. BNB is at 493, and that's up 1.2%. But BNB is in trouble. If it cannot get past 500 and stay there, then you're going to see Solana take over, guys. So right now, Solana is at $145. That's up almost 2%. We're up almost 300% in 30 days. Amazing. Mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing, guys. And my Doge in the house is at, let's call it 30 cents, and it's up over half a percent right now. But we're still up 52% for the last 30 days. It's mind-blowing. It's fantastic. It's huge. And polka dots starting to, start to get some life in. CPR, we're polka dots. So polka dots also picking up some speed and it's up 1.51 percent but it's also up 80 percent in 30 days so let's take a uni is down because we know the sec gary gensler in the house is going after uni right now so it, I, I as soon as i heard that news the second i heard that i dumped all my uni i'm so happy i did that because i'd be down five percent so i so if you're looking for something else move it into sushi swap or something like that or just hold it on the sidelines or buy more doge what are you waiting for so we're seeing that litecoin is up we're seeing link 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 is a, still a huge huge buy it's a good time to pick up some link on discount and it's link is good guys i like link luna which is gaming guys uh, icp I, I don't know enough i don't like it matic is on fire vet we have all these in our portfolios let's take a quick look at the og portfolio in the house let me give this some interest hopefully it doesn't break on us yeah here we go let's do it let's get the pie chart get a pie chart so right now remember this uh this is the og in-house crypto daily trade signal portfolio that we made online july 2nd guys we made it together on a live stream so go back and watch that and remember this is not financial advice if you use any part of this portfolio you do so at own risk guys so right now the 
the crypto daily trade signals portfolio is up 65 percent that's we're up 65 percent in 60 days amazing guys absolutely amazing wow where can you get that kind of lift and we have a total profit of three thousand two hundred eighty one dollars and sixty cents amazing and we're now our total portfolio we only started with 5k five thousand we only started with we're now at eight thousand two hundred eighty dollars ninety seven cents we're gonna double that baby we're gonna double it we're gonna see 10k coming in really soon guys Woo! it's getting hot it's getting hot Woo! so let's take a that so with that being said guys don't forget to go to my twitter twitter I will always post the videos before they come out right here on Twitter. So if you're not getting the YouTube notifications, please follow me on Twitter, guys. And also, I'm updating the news. If there's any news that's breaking, I'm updating here as well. So you can get all the news, all the tips, all the tricks. Get me on Twitter. Follow, follow, follow. Do it now. What are you waiting for? And guys, with that being said, smash the likes. Subscribe, BYB. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Do it now. I'm so excited. That's just amazing, guys. Amazing time to be alive. And right now, don't forget to go to every single of my videos. I have a description. I have a disclaimer. This is not financial advice. This is only for education and entertainment purposes. And remember, one strategy does not fit all, guys. Remember, do your own risk measure. It's so, so important. Guys and gals, if you're stressing out, you need to relax, go to Zen Music Attic, find yourself, relax, find yourself, your soul. It's huge, huge, it's really relaxing. It's a wife's channel. I'm shilling it, I'm telling you I have to. And support the channel, go to Patreon, become a Patreon member, buy the channel a coffee, support the channel. All the all the membership, become members, come on, become members. All the memberships, all the merchandise, all the coffees, all of that goes to charity, guys. Goes to charity, absolutely. And guys, please check out my NFT collection. If you're wondering what NFTs are, check out the NFT collections. You can buy them right online. Uh, go to OpenCIO, search Digital Asian, and you can see the beautiful, beautiful NFT collection that's online right now. Take a look at it. We got some really cool stuff, guys. And if you're interested, just pick it up, pick it up. It's really good. And guys, check out my merch. Check out the merch and merch. Yeah, now we're out of hats, guys. Sorry to tell you that. We got polo shirts, we got t shirts, we got hoodies, we got men's stuff. We even got baby clothes, guys. And if you don't want any clothing, we've got non clothing. I've got the mug, the mug. We got the backpack, the backpack. Get the backpack, get the backpack. You gotta love it. We got a pillow. So if your head's getting heavy, get the pillow, guys. We got phone case covers. We got all sorts of stuff. Guys, get the merch. Get the merch. All the merch goes to charity, guys. It absolutely does. And with that being said, God bless each and every single one of you. Walk with God, go with God. Be neighborly, be a good Christian, be a person of God. And remember, this is the only crypto-friendly, God-friendly channel on the interwebs. We love you guys. I love you guys to death. Remember, I'm working for you. I'm doing this for you. So smack me up with a comment. Hit me up with a comment. Tell me what I'm doing. Tell me how I'm doing. Smash the like. Subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Woo!